Good morning, everyone. It is July 1st. We are officially through our first month. And I've, I think I've been spending the morning and largely much of yesterday reflecting on what we've accomplished, where we are short, where we need to change course, what we need to think about, what questions I have to ask myself. And there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of them. It's, um, it's amazing actually what we've been able to accomplish. I mean, uh, look behind me. This is, this is about as gorgeous as it gets. We're in Connecticut today. I'm in a jacket on July 1st. Um, I'm a Florida girl. <laughs> this is, this is, um, it, it's just not something that we see typically. So to get up and do my run today and for it to be in the 60s it's uh, you know it's gorgeous it's it's absolutely gorgeous i think i'm getting video bombed <laughs> Just watch. oh very nice very nice and so it gets to my other point um five people in an rv is uh tight uh, the the shower is not big and i think being in new york city where there was i mean it, just traveling from one point to the other, even in the city, it's, it's exhausting when you don't know it. I mean, our, our son goes to school there, so it's not like we don't know New York City. I, I went to school outside of New York, spent a lot of time there. My ex-husband went to um, grad school there. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in New York City, so I, I don't know like the back of my hand, but I certainly know quite a bit about it, and it's still very stressful to maneuver through there. The, the path, which is one of the trains, was down one time. The weekend schedules were not showing. Things were getting canceled. I mean, it just it just kind of wears on you. Um, and and we didn't have we didn't have a lot of great interviews there, which is which is a little disappointing. I, I would have liked to have seen more action, but I, I don't have as many contacts in that space. And and it's it's hard. New York City is a place. Um, you really have to be part of the community to be able to get inroads, and, and I respect that tremendously, but it also makes it difficult then to interact. So I was, I was pleased with the interviews we were able to, to capture. I, I wish we could have done more, um, and, and really because I believe New York City is such, I mean, it's, it's like a model city, city in our country, right? It's the most diverse city, and uh, with that comes challenges in a microcosm, but also, nobody messes with New York. I mean, it doesn't matter which com sub community you are part of. When it comes to representing the entirety of the city, everyone comes together, and and I love that about them. You know, it's like a family. Where do we have to do better? Uh, advertising, hands down. I am, I am, I am not a fundraiser. I am not um, a marketer. I. You know, I'm super jazzed about the national environmental strategy and how cool it looks and how great it's come together. And I didn't know that we could do that. I, I honestly was not sure we'd get all the information we needed. I didn't know if we'd get through all the science, but we did. We really did. And we were able to put together a, a truly quality um, set of materials. I have no idea how to sell them though. <laughs> I am a problem solver, I'm the idea generator, but I remain not a politician, not an evangelist, not, not a, um, I, I just, I don't know how to put myself out there. I, I mean, I am, I'm putting myself way out there, but I'm still a lot in my own comfort zone, right? I'm interviewing experts that I know, I'm interviewing people that I'm connected to or that are recommended to me, but I haven't stepped out of that space I can, um, I just, I, I, don't, I don't quite know how to make the leap. So, so today marks the day where we really start trying to reach out to press, where we say, look, our website is up, our ideas are coming together, the people we're interviewing are amazing and tremendous and growing, and we have something to share with the country. And the big question is, does, does anyone care? Does anyone want to listen? I, and I, I don't know the answer to that. I, I think people are interested. I think where the challenge really comes is that 
you've got to put your message in front of them and that takes money and we don't have a lot of money so all the great ideas in the world and to kind of sum up today as one of the marketing people we've consulted with said you can have great ideas but to be frank he said he could polish a turd and sell it better <laughs> and i was like oh that's so disheartening <laughs> but i mean maybe that's and it, you know he didn't mean it negatively he just meant the reality is that when you know how to sell, you can really make progress. And when you're somebody who generates ideas, there are limitations. And I need to get past those limitations of myself and connect with those people who know how to sell. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be the next challenge. I've created something to sell, now I need to find the people who can do it. Here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs>